Welcome back to Makeup with Gigi. Today, I'm off. I'm just killing time playing in the makeup. Look at this fun blue look we came up with. I got a few new products on. Thought I'd test them out before work, you know, later this week. See which ones I like, how I like them. If you want to see how I got here, stay tuned. And before we get there, don't forget to like and subscribe below. And I'll see you in a minute. As I stated in the intro, there's some fun new things I want to play with today. So we're going to start off with our Blue Blood palette. I think the blues are going to complement some of my other fun things I want to play with fairly well. And I don't have anywhere to be today. This can be crazy. It can be whatever. So I want to start with I'm Cold, which is right here. Just a soft baby blue. And we're just going to make that our transition color. I have already primed my eyes with the Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. I set that with a little Laura Mercier setting powder. I also went ahead and took care of my brows. That was the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And then Wow Brow Brow Gel, also by e.l.f. And all that information is going to be listed in the description box below. I also have primed my face already with the NYX Professional Marshmallow Primer. I went ahead and took care of the boring parts. That way you can just be here for the fun. Because this takes long enough as is, right? Okay, and we're just going very slowly, adding just a little bit of pigment at a time. So it's not too much. This is just a base, you know, just to get us started. This isn't like a main focus here. I just want something for my other colors to blend. And y'all, I've been supposed to make this video for like at least an hour. But instead, you know, I went to the kitchen to get me a beverage, as one does. and saw this box of croissants on the counter that boyfriend and I had talked last night about, oh, we should really do something with those before they go bad. I hate to throw them away because there was a lot of them left. We just don't get around to eating stuff sometimes. And so in the interest of not being wasteful, we decided we should make bread pudding and then both returned to our seats on the couch and did not make bread pudding. So today when I wandered in there for a beverage and noticed this box of croissants still sitting on my counter, I said, you know what? Bread pudding only takes a minute. Let's go ahead and do that. So I sat there and I made bread pudding. And as I was taking it out of the oven, you know, trying to figure out, well, what am I going to talk about? Because it's boring if I don't talk. We're going to go into Blue Monday here for our outer corner. And I thought to myself, I wonder how many other people my age or younger, mid-30s, how many of you actually can do that? Just be like, oh, I have this on my counter. It needs used up. And just know in your head a recipe. Like, I know. I had about four cups of croissants cut up. That tells me I need about three eggs, you know, three-fourths a cup of liquid, be it milk, half and half, heavy cream. I think today I used a mixture of milk and half and half because that's what I had. And you know, about how much sugar and about how much cinnamon. It's not science really with bread pudding. I know most baking is, but bread pudding, there's some room for guessing there. That's why I like it. It's something I know I can make. And maybe it's because I worked at a restaurant that that was a menu item and I had to make it for like a year. Maybe I have just ingrained that recipe in my head. But like chocolate chip cookies, I could pretty much 
bake you a batch of chocolate chip cookies, no recipe. And these are simple things that when I was growing up, I was like, yeah, this is what like teenage girls do. This is what housewives do. They can just whip up a batch of cookies here. No recipe, nothing. Just hold on. Y'all want some cookies? I got you. And you know, I wanted to be that way. So I spent time with my grandmother and I learned and my mom. But the more I work in restaurants, the more I see young people that they eat out an awful lot for people that could do it at home, you know? Although I guess boyfriend and I do too. I got lucky. Not only can I cook, but boyfriend is also a chef. Like he legit has worked as a chef. And, you know, both of us can get in the kitchen and pretty much throw something together out of nothing real easy. And I think I take that for granted. Like, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has that skill. And I've been trying to figure out kind of, do I want to do makeup on my TikTok? Yeah, I have a TikTok app. Look at me, GG. There might be number zero three probably. Um, you know, do I want to do that on my TikTok? Do I want to cook? There's a lot of people already that cook. I'm just going to dip back into I'm cold and blend this out just a little bit here. But I feel like there's a lot of people already cooking on TikTok, but there's a lot of people doing makeup on YouTube, too, and here we are. Look at us doing makeup on YouTube. But, you know, there's room for everybody on the internet. There's trillions of people in the world with access to the internet. We can share. And I am prepared. That Blue Monday, that's going to stain purple like you wouldn't believe. But it's okay. I'm going to go into the Star Ranch palette. And I'm going to pick up this color here. This dark blue. It's called Winter Wind. And I just want a little bit of that on my finger. And I'm going to put that kind of towards the outer corner here. And towards the middle. I really like this. It's like a shimmery denim kind of color. Okay, that's about far enough. Well, let's get it on the other side. Okay, clean my finger off. I may need it later. And then on the inside, I'm going to use this color Old Jeff right here, which is like a sparkly, shimmery, sky blue type color. And I'm just going to blend that a little bit over the winter wind. And my nails are way longer than I'm used to. They're actually my nails, but they're just really long. They need done, cut some kind of love and attention that I'm just not giving them. I usually don't get them this long though, they usually break. So I'm just kind of holding my breath here. Okay, and next I'm gonna go into Grand Prismatic, which is this one in the middle. It's a matte kind of sky blue. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit and I just wanna go over right here. little bit there and just kind of carry over that dark and light kind of going on and I'm gonna go back again with blue Monday and just darken this up a little bit here I 
I guess tomorrow I'll wear purples because I'm gonna have so much purple on my face anyway. But it's gonna be fine. That's super pretty, y'all. I really like the way that's going. I'm gonna go back into my Blue Blood palette and pick up the color here, Cullen. That's this white shimmer. And it does have a little bit of a blue tone to it. It'll look very blue with where I'm about to put it. It's gonna go right here. And this is just gonna be our highlight color. And we're gonna blend it. Just a little bit with this brush. And then we're gonna go back in with my favorite and blend it some more. This is just to get the pigment in the right place. And as you can see, this is a very pigmented white. A lot of whites, they just kind of disappear. This one, it definitely stands up loud and proud. Okay, I'm gonna dust off this brush. That's the number one for those playing the home game. I'm gonna take just a teensy bit of I'm cold and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend these together and again just the teensiest bit of I'm cold and we're gonna blend them together there we go Next, we're gonna add our wings. We're gonna change it up a little bit today. It is still my e.l.f. Precision Liner, but I did pick up this color Midnight, which is like a navy blue. So I'm really excited to try that today and see what we think with this blue look. I'll be right back. Next to our eyes, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I really am falling in love with these. I went and bought the color Disco Queen. And I'm gonna take it on this little Morphe M443 brush, this little pointy guy. And I'm gonna take just a little bit on his head here, just a little bit on the tip, just the tip. See that pretty little line of sparkle there? Let me show y'all what I did with that. I have done a little sparkly guy there, a little graphic something. And that is my first attempt this is my first attempt at graphic liner of any kind, so I don't think I did too bad. I see where it needs improvement, but I'm happy with it. All right, so we're gonna put that away for right now. Um, that's definitely coming back here in a minute though. Hold tight. For our face makeup today, I have the new L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum with 1% hyaluronic acid. There it is. And the shade ranges were really weird to me. It came in 0.5 to two, which was a very light color. And then it came in two to three, which is light pale and what I got. And then it came in like three, four, four, five, and so on. So it's more of a shade range than it is an actual shade. And you know me, I don't like to listen to nobody at Ulta. So when they told me to get the shade 0 0.5 to 2, I looked at it and said it was way too light. Um, and this one, it may be a little dark for me, but it's not going to be too light. And I think at this point, this is going to be better. So I'm, it is a liquid, so I've just put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my brush. I know you don't see me use a brush often. But from what I've seen, that's the way to apply this. 
and it is just supposed to be a serum. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, go under my eyes and stuff with it and we'll see how much it does correct wise. And if we need to color correct further, we can. We've still got our concealer to put on too, though. I'm just going to start by doing half my face here. And that way we can kind of see what we're working with. And I am stippling it on and then I'm going back and in a circular motion making sure that it's blended in. Guys, that does not look bad at all. I may go back and get the lighter color and mix them because I think it would be too light, but I could see where this one might be a little bit dark for me. I think a couple of drops of the lighter one will make it perfect. But this color, it's not bad, y'all. Let's do the other side and see. And again, we're just gonna stipple it on first to get it in place. And then we'll go through and work on blending it. I'll be careful not to disturb my wings today. All that work would be very hard to undo and redo this late in the game, you know? And I do want to make sure I blend it down onto my neck just to ensure it's blended correctly. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this looks with all the other makeup on. Because right now by itself, I really like it. I am gonna take my beauty blender and just tap over everything. Make sure there's not brush strokes. Just one more little drop here. I just want to go over here. Oh, see it? That's a nice finish with the beauty blender, too. I really like that, y'all. Let's see how it wears. I'll wear it again when I go to work next and we'll do a real wear test. I'll document it on Snapchat like I did the last one and that way you can see my, you know, kind of all day feelings on it. I did not today powder my cheeks underneath. I'm not going anywhere so I'm not really worried about airbrushed today. We're just gonna pretend I did it. And then for concealer, I've got my Tarte Shape Tape. This is 27S. That is also known as Light Medium Sand. And I'm just going to take a little bit here and here. And a little bit here and here. And let's just tap that out. Yeah, I had been talking about cooking and I just, I don't know, I see Facebook videos and maybe they're supposed to be joke videos of women making things like spaghetti o pie. Now, I don't know where y'all grew up, but where I grew up, SpaghettiOs were microwaved or eaten cold out of the can. They were not baked in a pie shell. It was just not an appropriate use of SpaghettiOs or a pie shell. My mama would have looked at me like I had lost my mind. But I see these things. 
is this what passes for cooking these days? Like, I can remember being, you know, 13, 14 years old and having a meatloaf ready when my mom got home from work. Part of that was necessity because I was the oldest and she worked a little bit, you know, had to make money. And part of it was I really just liked to cook. But I could make a meatloaf at 14. My kid is 20. And yeah, he could probably figure it out. But he doesn't just like know how to make a meatloaf. He couldn't like... I don't think he could actually like prepare a whole meal just off the top of his head. And he's almost 20. I was doing this at 14, opening the refrigerator and, okay, this is what we have. Okay, this is what we're going to have for dinner. And had I known then that I would spend the rest of my life doing exactly that, maybe I wouldn't have been in such a hurry at the time to grow up. But I was. But I just don't see that in kids today. I don't... Is this because we don't do latchkey kids anymore? Is that what the change is? Or have the internet and iPads just killed it? Like, all this stuff is accessible on the internet. There's a YouTube video to show you how to do anything in the kitchen. All you have to do is put your mind to it and practice. I just don't see kids today doing such things. All right, show me he's gonna dust off some of this extra here. And I'm just gonna give it a quick once over with the setting spray since there's some powder on there and to make sure our eyes don't move. And this does look really nice on camera, in person. I definitely wish I had put that layer of powder on underneath. But I think it's gonna be okay. I think there just may be a learning curve with this type of foundation, because it's definitely not what I'm used to. But it's pretty on camera. I'm sure it's pretty, you know, to have a conversation with me. I have to get pretty close to the mirror before I can notice the imperfections. So maybe it will work. I do have some glitter fallout. That was probably actually on Shorty <laughs> from previous uses. Anyway. Let's go back in with Blue Blood, and I'm going to take my M, what is this, 165, little angle guy I love, and I'm going to go into Blue Monday, which is that vibrant blue we were using before, and I'm going to go right here and connect my wing as always. Make sure I get all the way to the lash line because that is very important or else you're going to have like a gap in your color and it's not going to be very pretty. And if you're going to go to all this work, you might as well do it right and make sure it's pretty. And for the rest of my under eye, I'm going to go back into Grand Prismatic in Star Ranch. I'm going to go back into, I'm going to go back into Star Ranch and use Grand Prismatic here. And I'm just going to put that under the rest of my under eye. Y'all, I just love how pigmented these are. This is like 
the easiest ever. I love this Grand Prismatic color. It reminds me of like the perfect 80s blue. I'm gonna go ahead back in with the color I'm Cold from Blue Blood where we started. And I'm gonna use that to blend out my under eye. Under eye is finished and I'm very pleased with it. Let's go ahead and grab some eyeliners here. Okay, I did go ahead and apply this LA Looks Blue Eyeliner. I don't know, electric blue. There's probably not a link for it. I think this is one I had to find something uh, comparable in the description below, but take a peek. Then I have NYX. Uh, this is the professional wear, their epic wear, whatever, in silver lining. That's on the bottom waterline. And then my Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. Put all that on because it's boring and it takes forever. Next, we're gonna go on and I'm gonna put on some bronzer. Today it's gonna be the Hula Benefit. What about your guts? And we're just gonna fan it right here. Just a little bit below our cheekbone. Maybe a little more than that. Okay, and then a little on the jaw. A little on the side of your nose. And for blush, I'm going to take my Truffle Shuffle from ColourPop. Can't even see it in these lights. They're so blinding. Anyway, it looks like that. It's glorious. I love it. And we're gonna take our usual fluffy, defini looking thing. And we're just gonna put that right here on our cheekbone. And then up a little bit towards our temple. Then I'm gonna do a little under my jaw. And just a little on my forehead. This just warms it up, makes it a more natural color for a flush. Okay. And then Shorty's going to do the rest. Now everybody is blended. Let's finish up our inner corner. Last thing I'm going to do towards my eyes, promise. I'm gonna take my Blue Blood palette, I'm gonna go back into the color Cohen, and I'm gonna use my Morphe, oh, what do you say, M431, little pointy guy. And I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner, just like that. So I like it so much, I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f little liquid eyeshadow here in Disco Queen. And I'm gonna take it again on my Morphe 443. And I just wanna put a little bit right here in the inner corner. As you can see, one side definitely came out better than the other, but I think I managed to save it all. I'm really liking this whole icy feel this has going on. I kind of wish I had done the other side, reds and yellows and oranges, done like a fire and ice. Maybe next time. Okay, I'm just going to take my little highlighter brush here, and I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette, the color, uh, what is this, Blue Moon right here. And we're just going to do a little of that here. And this is just at the top of our cheekbone and going up a little bit into our temple. 
Oh, I think we can do better than that. After that Jeffree Star highlighter, anything less than blinding is just not going to do for me. And then we're going to blend with Shorty. So everybody tell me, is it just, you know, what I happen to be seeing that it seems that really my generation even, and then the ones that follow seem pretty helpless when it comes to feeding themselves outside of a restaurant. I'm sure everybody learned, you know, during the whole COVID thing, how to cook for themselves. But before that, how many of these millennials actually, you know, knew how to cook a whole meal for themselves and have it be of some nutritional value? Any of them? I'm gonna do my lips real simple today. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just playing in the makeup today and I love it. So we're gonna do Lumiere. This is our ColourPop Lippy. And it's one that's actually close to my lip color. But lip liner serves the purpose of keeping your lip product on your lip. So I still want to use one even though I'm not going to use lipstick today. You'll see. All right. So we've got Lumiere on our lips. Now we're going to take our Heaven's Gate, the gloss. And that's what we're going to wear today. I feel like that's going to really go with our little fire, little icy theme we got going on here. Okay, y'all. That's the look. A little bit icy today. It's been hot in Georgia. I needed something to cool off. Hopefully you had a great time today hanging out. I know I sure did. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.